Hi, I'm Jerry McMillan from PressureWasher.net and Sirocco Performance Vacuums. I want to show you a um, PEV2 system with the sand trap and show you a little bit about um, its multifunctionality and eccentricities. Um, this is a double motor vacuum and it has two of the most powerful vacuum motors made for 120 volts. So we put them on separate switches so that you can turn them on one at a time separately and that gives you a couple of advantages. Number one, when you start them one at a time, the switches last longer, the motors last longer, the connections on your extension cords last longer. We just don't need to draw a jolt of juice turning on two of the most powerful vacuum motors made. Okay. They also have separate circuit breakers on the back. There's one for each motor on the side and it's protected with a ground fault interrupter that's rated for 25 amps. Okay. Um, this is only on here to protect the motors. This isn't on here to run anything else. It's here only to protect the vacuum motors and the user. It's a ground fault interrupter that, that uh, protects the motors in case water was to get up into the motors and, and so on. Um, the way we have this configured, the um, fans also have a protective screen. If something happens to your automatic pump out and water started coming up, up into the motors, it would throw the, the, the water out the um, ejector ports on the sides here, but it would probably pick up debris. There's one of the outlets right there. It would probably pick up debris in the, in the screens. So you would need to unscrew these two little screws right here on the manifold, pull the manifold off, then you can get to the screens. Okay. Now, let's say you had a situation where you can't run this on the circuit that you're plugged into. Maybe you don't have enough extension cord. Maybe there's a computer on this circuit. Well, that would be a bad day because you really shouldn't be on the same circuit with a computer anyway. So um, don't do that anyway. But let's say you've got a limited circuit. It's only a 15 amp circuit and you need a 20 amp circuit to run this thing. So you turn on one of the vacuum motors. Okay, <clears throat> if I turn on this motor, then this one is going to allow air to suck backwards through the, through the motor and you're going to lose suction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take something, duct tape, piece of paper, something, and I'm going to stick it against the outlet of the, of the vacuum motor that I'm not using so that I can get the full performance of at least one motor. Here's how it works. <laughs> It's as simple as that because it will suck air backwards through the motor that's not running. Okay? So, same on this side. That's all you got to do.